meet people where they are. But that does not mean that you have to dumb down the information. What it might mean is that you need to encourage and empower them to step up to their full potential. Mm. What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now it's your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on You, your favorite personal development coach with another episode of Black Fathers Now. Now, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. And if you're not, change it. You have the power to do so. Change it. Because guess what? Life is way too short not to make the most of every moment that we're blessed with. So that being said, um, this quick episode, I'm going to share something with you that I, I think we need to really be mindful of. All right. And, and that's this. Meet people where they are. But that does not mean that you have to dumb down the information. What it might mean is that you need to encourage and empower them to step up to their full potential. Mm. Meeting people where they are does not always mean you have to dumb down the information. Sometimes you simply need to encourage and empower them to step up to their full potential. So where is this information or where is this concept coming from? You know, sometimes, you know, as individuals who present information or create courses or teach or consult or lecture or whatever you do, or mentor, or coach, you know, whatever it is, coach, a lot of times we find ourselves trying to find a way to simplify information so that there is no you know misunderstanding or there is no opportunity for someone not to get what it is you put out there and sometimes we do that to a fault right and the reason i mention that is that if someone that you're communicating with is interested in the information if they're interested in the wisdom if they're interested in the concepts if they find those things valuable, they'll go through hell or high water to find out how to learn. They will go to extreme circumstances or extreme measures to find a way to get more, to learn more, to get more insight. Case in point, if somebody is really into sports, they're going to read everything they can find about their favorite team. They can tell you every nuance, every trade that happened, every personnel decision, the contracts, the, the coaches' contracts. They can tell you everything about their favorite team because they're interested in it. You don't have to dumb down the information about their favorite team so that they can get it. No, you mention something, you drop a small carrot out there, and they're just going to go. They're going to do everything they can. They're interested in it. They, they have an incentive to go deep, to learn more. And I think in a lot of instances, we sell the potential of individuals short or we think they can't understand something or they can't get something or some concept. But the reality is, in most instances, they're just not interested. In most instances, it's maybe something they're just really you know, not connected to, you know, and so for that reason, it's not that they don't have the capacity to learn, the capacity to get it, the capacity to understand, it's more so they don't have the interest or the motivation to do so. And, and so, and I think sometimes as, again, teachers, as communicators, as leaders, as mentors, as coaches, you know, we beat our head against the wall trying to, you know, simplify things, but it's really not about the simplification. 
It's not about the complexity of the information or the concepts. It's simply the interest and the motivation of that person you're communicating with. So again, we should meet people where they are, but we should not beat our head against the wall trying to simplify it so much that, you know, it basically, you know, we basically waste energy doing so. Sometimes it's more so about encouraging and empowering the individual to step their game up to find some level of connectivity or interest in what it is you're presenting so that they have the desire to go and learn more. So again, meeting people where they are, yes, at times we do need to simplify. But in a lot of instances, it's not about the information, it's about the motivation and the inspiration associated with it. Because when someone is inspired and motivated, you can throw the most complex stuff at them. They're going to go find a way to learn it because they're inspired and they're motivated. So, yeah, I hope this really resonates with you all because, you know, sometimes I find myself in, in this particular realm. Right. And I even think about it on the receiving end. You know, there are some things that get explained to me if I'm not interested in it. You know, honestly, I don't care how simple you make it. I'm not going to get it because I'm not interested in learning that. On the flip side, I don't care how complex the concepts are. If I'm interested and motivated in what it is that's being presented, oh man, I'm going to go deep and I'm going to figure out a way to learn it. So really, is it about simplification or is it about motivation and inspiration? I don't know. What are your thoughts? I hope this is something that you can think about because, again, as dads, as men, as leaders, um, as communicators, we need to be mindful of this. Sometimes it's about simplifying. Sometimes it's just simply about inspiring and motivating. All right. Well, hey, uh, I hope this resonates with you. Let me know what your thoughts are. Make sure to leave some comments on your favorite listening app. Make sure to rate this um, podcast on wherever you're listening to it because it helps us to grow in the searchability um, and share this thing out, especially with some communicators you have out there, teachers, coaches, mentors. Shoot, share it with other fathers, man. Other dads that are out there, share this thing out and see if this resonates in regards to communication with your kids. You know, is it about the information simplifi simplified or is it about motivation and inspiration? You know, I think each situation brings its own set of challenges. And either way, we got to have a lot of tools in our tool belt if we're going to fix things, if we're going to build things. You know, we can't build things with just one tool. We got to have multiple tools. And um, and maybe this is one to, to add into your tool belt. All right. Well, hey, I hope you all have a blessed day. And until next time, y'all be blessed, well and wise. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and, uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.